Hello there, seekers of uh, happiness. Uh, we have to find a, a better intro than that, aren't I? But that's what we're here for, is ha how to be happy is the name of the channel. So uh, we're, we're trying to get ourselves to that state of emotional health that uh, we all want. Um, sorry about this, my device is behaving weirdly. I'm having to handhold it because it won't... Anyway technical difficulties um yeah yesterday we were uh, looking at um black strap molasses ordinary molasses and the fact they've got half a ton well i suppose if it, <laughs> like eventually if you have enough of them you will have eaten a half a ton of minerals and other things in there which are very very useful i've found for my emotional health and possibly for my bodily health but certainly uh, kept me on an even kill but there are lots of other remedies that you might want to consider as well and it involves getting into a kind of a, a daily routine um, i find it useful to take multivitamins um, i found that having something with vitamin B in it. I, I like Marmite. Now, I know a lot of people who know what Marmite is or Vegemite thinking, uh, oh my God, no. Uh. Uh, but it's, it's absolutely chock full of vitamin B. It's made from brewer's yeast. Those of you who are alcohol averse, don't worry, there's no alcohol in it. They take the yeast which has been made, been used to make beer and they boil the heck out of it and um, they put a lot of salt in. Um, cause that's why you don't eat, need very much because a, a fair amount of salt and you know, sodium, if you're sodium averse and you might want to tread very carefully with this, do your research, okay, don't take it from me, but also you know, maybe consult your physician, uh, as it says on a lot of labels um, and, and adverts. Um, I also take a multivitamin and extra vitamin D3 to help it get into my mitochondria. And what else have I learned over the years? Part of staying emotionally healthy depends on staying physically healthy. And that means reducing the amount of irritation inflammation in your body and you can do that by including a certain amount of ginger and turmeric and a little bit of black pepper to amp up the effect of the turmeric in your diet as well I have this on a baked potato each day I'm quite fond of potatoes there's something called a potato diet which Wow, it's my favorite diet ever when I need to lose a bit of weight because I never, ever, 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 ever get tired of potatoes. It's much better than any other diet that I've ever tried. And my weight can yo-yo occasionally, especially around about Christmas when I do tend to overindulge. Well, normally. So, um, yeah, but okay. So today's takeaway really is that Speaking personally for me, I find that blackstrap molasses, I, uh, daily necessity, bit of turmeric, bit of black pepper, bit of ginger to reduce inflammation within my body. And inflammation can occur in many, many different places in your body. You can feel it in your joints, no matter what age you are, but also it can, inflammation can be the cause of a lot of other um, illnesses and when your body is fighting uh, any form of illness it's putting in extra reserves think of it as a fire okay a fire that's gotten out of control and you've got to send firefighters in there and they uh, the, your, your body could do with keeping those firefighters out of the fray it's putting in energy, and if it's using up energy, then it means that your body is under stress. Stress, I know, is being used in a lot of different ways, but it effectively all means the same thing. You are 
when you're stressing something, you are you're putting it to a kind of a, a, a test of limitations, and you are tiring it out, and that tiredness is using up energy, and the energy has to be replaced somehow with extra rest. Um, you're getting depleted. Uh, a better analogy might be to think of a farmer's field. Okay, he or she sows a crop, and the crop takes nutrients out of the soil the soil has to somehow be replaced the soil has been stressed okay so when you do things or experience stressful situations it's the equivalent of growing a crop and the soil is giving uh, the crop is to fight you know the the the, uh, the 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 situation, and the soil, your body is getting depleted of its nutrients, so you need to put the nutrients back. Okay, and so the again to recap: blackstrap molasses, turmeric, ginger, and black pepper. Oh, and coconut oil is good, but I've only recently started doing that. I'm, my jury's out on it. It seems to work for some people. Vitamin D3, multivitamins, and some people swear by seaweed. Now, these are all kind of supplement things. This is before we even get onto the kind of things you should be consuming on a fairly regular basis. All right, oh, vitamin B, vitamin B for tiredness. If you get dark circles under your eyes, you are vitamin B deficient. Hmm, yeah, you need to do something about that. And if you don't like Marmite, I'm sure there are vitamin B tablets with all the vitamin B complex things in them. Uh, B1, B2, B6, B12, and there's another B somewhere. Yeah, right. Here's to your greater health, your greater happiness, and I will bid you good night after I have said to you all the stuff about liking and subscribing if you found this useful. Okay, let's lower the world's stress levels. Goodness knows it would be a good thing if we did. Good night.